Adobe Premiere Pro just got an update. This update is also giving us new color management. Now, if you have the color manage auto detected log and raw media thingy checked, when you add log files to the project, they are automatically converted to Rec. 709. What I I am excited about, however, is the fact that we are getting something that DaVinci Resolve has always had. We can now color grade in a wide gamut tone mapped color space. This means that Premiere now lets you use more of the color information contained in a file because up till now we've been working in Rec. 709. What's the difference between Rec. 709 and a wide gamut? You can think of Rec. 709 as an old box of crayons with only three left, red, green, and blue, while a wide gamut tone map space is a brand new box with 64 crayons, a sharpener, and a subscription to Skillshare, which by the way is the sponsor of today's video. No it isn't, but it should be. Universe, make it happen. Here is a clip in a wide gamut tone mapped color setup with the contrast and saturation pushed to the max. And here's the same clip also pushed to the max, but this time in a Rec. 709 standard dynamic range setup. So is this the end of DaVinci Resolve? No. <laughs> Imagine.